la Ley para los Derechos de Dueños de Casa se promulgó recientemente. Esto fue diseñado para otorgar protecciones a dueños de casa y modificaciones a los procesos de hipoteca y de ejecuciones hipotecarias. ¿Cuáles son las tres cosas que se necesitan hacer para asegurar implementación óptima? Yeah, thank you. Um, the first thing I do is tell the banks no more foreclosures. We got to put a, a moratorium on foreclosures. That's what we got to do. We got to put a stop to the foreclosures now. Just stop them. And we have to have power to do that using the, the laws from the Attorney General and, and the prosecutors and go after the cheaters that are cheating people and, and make sure that they follow the law. And that's the first thing I would do is, I, I, don't, I don't mince words. There's been a lot of exploitation and we have to put a stop to that. That's why we passed that Bill of Rights. And you know, it barely passed. There was a lot of oppositions from the banks and other organizations. We ought to open up the doors to let consumer credit flow through credit unions, local nonprofit uh, uh, banking institutions, cooperatives, and, and there's a proposal to create a state of California bank that the state itself could lend to uh, distressed homeowners. I think those ideas would help protect the consumer. We need to get the financial uh, uh, organizations to cooperate. If you don't cooperate, we're not going to put any of our state treasury money in your bank, buddy. You have to cooperate with us, and we're not going to put our deposits in your bank. And our school districts are going to go along with that also. We also need these community programs like we have planned and, and, and have done six of, and we have another one tomorrow morning at Oversfield High School, uh, 11 o'clock. There's going to be a bunch of experts there. If you happen to know somebody that needs help, that's where you can get help, right there at Overfield High School tomorrow morning at, a, at 11 o'clock in the morning. There'll be experts. We need to have more of those all over our community. People need to know what the laws are and how to help themselves. So I really appreciate uh, all the support we received over the last year to pass the Homeowner Bill of Rights. And you know, sometimes you have to stand up to these special interest people. Sometimes you have to fight a little bit. And they're going to hit you, but you got to hit them back. And when they start messing with our economy, our, our families, and our community, it's time to stand firm and say, listen, we're going to put a moratorium on your foreclosure movements here. We're going to say no more, no mas. Thank you.